Hey everybody, Ryan Gromfin here with Pilot Rhino. And that's a whole lot of wire. So, I made my own wiring harnesses for the wings. It's a little messy, but it's actually quite organized. Um, I'll talk you through kind of what I did, but just a quick little overview. So, I've got my coax for the, this is the left wing, coax for the Bob Archer nav antenna. This is for the zip tips. You can see I was able to find some of the colors at a decent price. I did, I definitely did black and red. I wanted to have black and red for everything at every gauge. And then I did the purple and blue because those connect to the other wing. And then I did all the other colors that go to the panel in white, but I got my um, heat shrink labeler and labeled them all. So I just kind of temporarily put some zip ties on them. Once I know exactly where things are going, they'll be more permanently mounted. Oh, I walk too fast. Uh, I've got my wires for my um, pitot tube controller, the wires for the pitot tube. I just need to get the right size screws to get that permanently mounted. And then I've got, well, I'll do all of that with the pitot. Um, or I think I already did. So that takes care of this. I ran fishing line through this tube. So if I have to run another wire through it at some point, I will. Now let's talk about this mess. So here's how I did this. I basically uh, put the wire and the vice grips and stretched it out along my garage. I used my five foot table to measure. So I just stretched my hands out, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, et cetera. And then as I kind of built the harnesses, I put them in here and just kind of every two or three feet, I put a zip tie on them until they stretched out. And then I heat shrunk the tip, kind of like that, to push it through. And then since we're over here, I'll show you the other side. So same thing, wiring harness for the zip tip. And then this harness, I just figured instead of spending 40 or 50 bucks on wire and buying all the stuff I needed for the connector, I just bought this. This is the Dynon Autopilot harness that they already had. And then, let me step back here. And then the only other wire on this side is for the trim. And this comes from Vans. It's a five, I think it's the five conductor. There's, so there's five wires in the one. Um, and same thing on this side. Everything is heat shrunk labeled and ready to go. So again, I gotta, I'll run some fishing line through this conduit just to have it. And then I'm gonna double, double, triple, quadruple check everything and make sure it's all done. But then I think we're ready to start closing up the wings. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about at this stage, and I'll update you, at this point in the game, everything is full length. I ran 30 feet of wire from wing tip. Now, everyone in the Vans groups, the RV10 group said about 23 to 25 is all you need to get from tip to the panel. I wasn't sure, the reviews were mixed, whether that gave me enough room for like a one foot service loop at both sides. So I just, it's a dollar extra, <laughs> not even, it was probably $10 extra for all the wire. So I just ordered 30 feet. So um, my original plan, now that I see it in motion, is wrong. But my original plan was to have one continuous line all the way through to the panel. And I can't do that because my plan is I want to get the wings out of here, done and out of the garage, so I have more room for the fuselage, which will be a two to three year project. And then I'll come get the wings back and take them to the airport when they're ready to get attached. The problem is if I wanna have my panel fully wired before I attach my wings, which is possible, I'm gonna post in the group, or if you're watching this, let me know. In a perfect world, obviously, it would have been easier to go from the panel out to the wings. I just have two or three months that I'm waiting for the rest of 
my stuff to come, so I wanted to do this work. Um, so I think I'm going to post it in the group and ask, but I think I'm going to cut these then. I have the harness made, so I think I'm going to cut them so that way I can then wire from the panel out to the wings, and then when I time to put the wings on the airplane, we just screw a couple connectors together and we're done. So that's the plan. If you are a RV builder and you have any comments or suggestions on that plan, please let me know. Thank you.